Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you about gradients inside of Editor X. Let's go ahead and get started. Now I know gradients have been a part of Wix for several months now, but at the time of recording this video, they just recently released gradients for Editor X. So I wanted to create a quick little video to teach you guys how to add them on your Editor X websites. To add gradients on your Editor X website, all you have to do is select a section, come over to the inspector panel, and we're gonna switch over to the design tab. Here under media and patterns, we can actually choose a color. And just like the classic editor, we have the solid color. We have the linear gradient, which is basically just gonna be fading from one color to another. And then we also have a mesh gradient or as Wix calls it, a fluid gradient. And we'll get to this in just a minute. But for now, let's go ahead and switch over to the normal gradient. And right here, we'll see a couple options. First, we can go click on linear and we can actually switch it to radial. And basically what that's gonna do, it's basically going to create a little dot right here in the little preview. And this little dot's gonna radiate one color and then it's going to slowly fade to the other color. Now, what you can do is you can move this little dot anywhere and you're gonna see it start updating on the page itself. So we can put this anywhere on the page, just like that. And then if we wanted to, we can even control the gradient a little bit more by dragging these little sliders. So we can do something like that. Doing something like this is gonna be a much more gradual transition from color to color. If we move this one over, you're gonna notice that it's gonna create a lot sharper edges on the gradient. My personal favorite thing to do is just let it be gradual. So it's just a nice little fade. And then if you wanted to, you could add another gradient change. And let's just change this color by clicking this little color icon. And we can change it to a different color. Let's just choose this green for now. So as you can see right here, it starts off as brown, fades to green, and then fades to this beige color over here on the edge. And the cool thing is, is with this color selected, we can even change the opacity if we wanted to. So we could have something similar to this, which doesn't look too bad. But now let's go ahead and switch over to the fluid gradient. Now, as you can see here in this little preview box, we're gonna have four different dots for color. Each one of these, we can go ahead and click on, change the color if we want. We can of course change the opacity. If we scroll down, we're gonna see we actually have more options than we did with the linear gradient one. We can control size and spread. So if I turn spread all the way down, you're gonna notice that that's gonna cause this little green color to have a much sharper edge. And this can be used in some really cool ways. And if we lower the size, you're gonna notice that it's basically controlling the size of this color. And basically the spread is the blur amount. So if you don't want any blur and you want to have this sharp edge like this, you can turn the spread all the way down to zero, and then you can use size to control how big this gradient is. And this would actually be a really cool little idea if we go ahead and grab all these other colors and we turn their opacity all the way down to zero. Then we're gonna have this really nice little design element that we can also move somewhere else on the page. We can literally move it wherever we want right from the editor itself but I'm gonna go ahead and turn up the spread. I'm gonna put this back in its place and I'm gonna turn up the opacity for all the other colors again. Something else to note is there is a color behind the gradient. So if I go ahead and change this to red, you're gonna see exactly what that does to the page itself. And of course, if you change the opacity of the colors on the page of the colors from your gradient, it's going to adjust the page. And you can also adjust the opacity of the color itself. So it's not so in your face and it's a little bit more pastel color looking like that. And then if you wanted to, if you didn't like the, the default gradient that it came with, you have other options. Or if you like the one that you designed, you can even add this as a gradient template 
so you can use for future sections on the project. But now let's go ahead and close out. Let's say we wanted to add an image to the background. Let's just go ahead and add a quick image, just like that. And what we can do is go ahead and lower the opacity of this image, something like this. And we can go ahead and apply a background scroll effect. So for now, I'm just gonna choose parallax. So now if I preview the website and check it out, here is what we are gonna see. And I think that looks really, really cool. Now, if you don't want to use the background image effect here, what you can do is just add an image to the page. So let's go ahead and just remove this image for now. Let's go ahead and come over here to the top, press add. We'll just drag out this image and we can lower the image opacity, something like this. And if we wanted to, we can go ahead and stretch it to the screen as well. Now using this method, we can go into the settings and we can add scroll behavior. Now for this one, we only have two options, parallax and reveal. So if you want more options like fade in, fade out, scroll left, more of those cool background scroll effects, then I suggest you use the other method. However, if we set this to parallax and we preview the website, it's still gonna look pretty nice. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, please give this video a like and consider subscribing for more Wix and EditorX content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one.